Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous comedy store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony! Volume 3, get up for Tony Hedgeclan! Fuck yeah! Here we are again, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, live audience. Come on, you can make more noise than that Monday night. There you Ooh. go. Proof to the thousands and thousands on Ustream and the hundreds and hundreds on Periscope. It's a real live audience. Guys, hello. Welcome to another fun episode of Kill Tony. And before we get started, just want to say Kill Tony's going on the road, guys. We're doing four shows in two cities in Pittsburgh and Columbus, Ohio, our, where our old Houghton stomping grounds. Yeah, I can't wait for that. That's Friday, November 27th and Sunday, November 29th. So uh, that's going to be fun to see Kill Tony live in Ohio. Um, hey, Brian, we're we're Brian Redband's here, everybody. Hey, guys. Together for Brian Redband. The house artist, Ryan J. Ebelt, is back from Texas, where he was last week. He draws every single episode. Right now, he has a blank sheet of paper. By the end of the episode, we're going to show it to you. He's going to draw tonight's episode live, as it happens, right now. And keep it going for the one-man band, the one and only Pat Reagan, everybody. Here he is, live, in the flesh. Nothing can stop him. Pat, how's life? What's happening? Life's good. Do you feel good about uh, your performance so far here tonight? I feel okay about it. feel okay, yes. Okay, good answer. Is that microphone on? Check. It's not. No. It's definitely not. Josh? <laughs> Josh? Try it again. Hello. There he is. Kind Hello. of. There we go. Hello. Kind of. Hello. Maybe. We're doing it, is guys. It it's a again? live show. If you didn't believe it was live before, now you know. It's a real live show. Fuck yeah. This is how the magic happens. Tony, how you doing? I'm doing great. I just had a fun weekend. Thanks to everybody in Portland, Oregon, uh, who came out to my shows at Helium. We had an amazing weekend there, and I'm doing Sacramento tomorrow and San Francisco the next day, and then Atlanta the next weekend after that. So that's the fine. That's uh, end of promotions, guys. You guys ready to start the show or what, you crazy yeah. motherfuckers? <laughs> Let's just get right into it. Tonight's secret surprise guests are uh, two of the best comedians in the world. As always, I always have two of my funniest friends, two of the best comedians on the show. This week's no different. From Howard Stern, Mad TV, Comedy Central, HBO, you name it, you've seen them. Two of the best. Put your hands together for Bobby Lee and Greg Fitzsimmons, everybody. Here they are. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey now. Hey. Here they are, guys. So excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Bobby is the only guest who's ever walked out of the show before. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank yeah, you. Sorry. About a hundred episodes ago, he walked out of the show. Brody, last Brody week. Brody did, Brody did it too. Right. Brody <laughs> did do it last week, but... But Brody didn't really decide that. Brody, you know, that was one of the voices in his head. Bobby actually made the... <laughs> Bobby actually made the sound decision to leave. Like, he planned it, and then he followed through <laughs> with it. I'm going to stay for this whole thing, guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Greg Fitzsimmons is back again. Bobby, you have a new podcast. Uh, what's that it's called? called Tiger Belly, and it's with me and my woman. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Greg Fitzsimmons, uh, the man with the plan, is back again. I can't get enough of this show yeah. because it makes me feel better than other comedians. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> That's why I do it. Every single week, yeah. it's a big confidence boost. Uh, it's like sucking the, the marrow of their dream. Yeah. Yeah, which is the juiciest part. No, oh, it, it's, it's a little more expensive this way. <laughs> but uh, No, and I see, I see comics that I've judged before. And I, actually, I always feel bad when we do it, but then they always say, oh, it's like the greatest night of my life. Yeah, everybody always loves it. Everybody yeah. always has fun because they're used to doing open mics with just each other. And on this show, you get sound advice, you get to have some fun, talk to great comedians, and be part of a live following. Maybe they get a few Twitter followers from the thousands and thousands watching on Ustream right now. And also, Tony, I want to be very positive tonight. Uh-oh. I'm not going to do anything negative. I'm going to, be, I'm going to support Okay. Because I've been so depressed lately, I don't know why, but I, and I feel like I have to give back. <laughs> All right, so let's clap for that, guys. I'm going to be yeah. positive tonight. That's good. No more fucking around. Love. I just love that Bobby Lee would say, I've been so depressed and I don't know why. <laughs> You're fucking Bobby Lee. 
Oh. Look at your mustache. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to be positive tonight. Uh, guys, Pat Reagan, you have a question for our guests tonight. I thought we were done with that segment. Yeah, Tony. Why don't you just give it a shot. <laughs> give it a shot real quick. <laughs> I want you to see if you can come up with anything. You got anything? No? Then let's start the show. You guys ready for Kill Tony or what? Tonight, on this night, right now, over 40 Woo! comedians stacked all the way back to the fire wow. exit have signed up for the chance to do one minute. If you, their name gets pulled out of the bucket, they come up here, they get an uninterrupted 60 seconds. Comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Aw, did you hear that? Can we do that one more time a little bit louder? That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Whoa. There you go. Okay. All right. Jesus. How dare you, Brian? There was a shooting here two weeks ago. It's too soon for that. Too soon is also uh, Bobby's uh, aunt's name, right? That's an Asian yeah, joke. Yeah, too soon. Too soon, Lee. <laughs> Guys, let's get this show started. You ready for Kill Tony or what, you motherfuckers? Another crazy Monday night here at the Comedy Store. Okay, I pulled the name out of the bucket. This looks like a new name. I'm always excited when they're easy, short names. It usually says a lot about what we're about to see. So here we go. Let's see if this is a real person. P. Ness. There's not really a P. Ness? Let's try Dylan Gray. How about Dylan Gray? Not quite as... Ooh. Well, this is terrifying. Does this come off of here? All right. Uh, do I just go? All right. My name is Dylan. I'm actually not from here. I wrote my friend Eric into coming down here to watch me fail at this for 60 seconds. But uh, I'm a bisexual Republican political consultant. Uh, I work on campaigns. And uh, bisexuality is not a phase. It's actually a thing. Uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning. I just want to you know, fuck a set of tits. I think you know what I'm talking about. No? Yeah? OK. And then other days, I just want to suck a row of dicks. I just want to go down to the bathhouse. No? OK. I've decided that. I tried to figure out whether or not I was a top or a bottom by figuring out how, how hard my dick gets when I get fucked by a dude or if I'm fucking a guy. So if I'm trying to fuck a guy and my dick's kind of going soft, I'm like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a bottom. And when a black guy who's like 210 pounds starts fucking my ass, my dick's really, really hard, then I know, oh my God, I'm a fucking bottom. Okay. <laughs> right, man. <laughs> All right, so that's 60 seconds. Um, that was a long 60 seconds. Yes, wow. it was. Wow, 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 wow. So long, that, so long that it made Dylan go <laughs> soft while he was on bottom. Uh, <laughs> Dylan, step back up to the microphone. What are you doing, you crazy son of a I bitch? I don't know. I've never done this. Right. Okay. First of all, untangle the mic cord from the mic stand. Okay. Sure. Dylan. Yep. How many times have you done stand-up comedy before? Uh, it's the first time I've ever done it. First time for Dylan right. Gray, ladies right. and gentlemen. There it is. The chicken of cherry popping. When you hear that chicken, you know somebody's cherry just got popped. There it is. Dylan, your first time ever doing stand-up. So let's get through it. Uh, yeah. The very first thing you said was, does this thing come out of this thing? <laughs> uh, that microphone will always come out of the mic stand, 100% of the time for future reference. That's fair. Uh, Another thing about your first time doing stand-up is uh, it's a lot like getting fucked by a black guy. So it could make you kind of hard. Uh, no, it didn't. I was worried about that, but it didn't happen. So. There you go. Pat Reagan throwing in some thunder quick. Uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to call Pat 0 for 1 so far tonight. Um, yeah, Bobby Lee. Have you ever heard of something called food? Oh. <laughs> well, you, have, you, my... you, you have Kate Moss's body. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the black guy. Is that like. positive? I'm trying to be positive. Because she's hot, kind of, right? Yeah. I like your opening line. This is so terrifying. That's terrible. what I say when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dylan, let's answer the question for you right now. I'm pretty sure you're a bottom, bro. 
I mean, I consider myself a very either that top. or you'd be a very aggressive top. Like you'd be like Hannibal from NBC's show. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'd be like the kind of top that has like a weapon to their throat or something like that. <laughs> Uh, so Dylan, so you just came out. What you said? You're a bisexual. What Republican? Republican political consultant. I'm actually wow. here for a week on work. So. Holy shit! Where are you visiting from? What part uh, of Utah? I, live, I work at the Capitol. Utah. Yeah. I work at the Capitol in Sacramento for the Republican Caucus, but I actually am from Oregon. Caucus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that caucus, baby, and his. Yeah. So I'm just down here for a week with my friend Eric. Uh, he has no idea what's going on, but uh, yeah, I was the first one called, so I'm actually kind of terrified, but. I said that already. Yeah, well, I think, I you, think you did a very for a good time. A good, I, I think you. It's hard. You put I a lot. I think of you did great for your first mind. time, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. You did. And, you did um, perfect. Yeah. Do the Republicans know that you're bisexual? Some of them do. Some of them Eric, do. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely like I think that when you come out with that much information, like Republican bisexual, you kind of need to lay it out a little. Sl it's like when you're telling your Pretend you're telling your parents that you take it up the ass from 220-pound black guys and, like, ease the audience into it a little right. bit. That's you rushed into it so fast, my ass hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Really, ru you really rushed into you're it. Very graphic too. You don't you don't really match your material, so it has this really weird vibe that that I believe very much. Was that? I mean, you, mostly was this true, mostly yeah. true? Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot wow. to take in, you know, without, uh, like, a buffer of some sort. You pretty much yeah. just raped my ass, and I didn't yeah. even know it. I'm sorry. Uh, so, Dylan, so how long have you, how long are you in L.A. for? Uh, I'm here till Friday. Here but till I, Friday. I'm moving down here next month to work Ooh. full time. Wow. Hell yeah, you are. I uh, think what's also difficult, and I can speak for Bobby, is that you're attractive, and so when you talk about all this gay stuff, <laughs> he's looking at you like, because you've fucked around with guys, right? In, in, okay. Um, <laughs> I, 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 um, in high school, I got drunk because my cousin Andy oh, I know lived no. with me. No. Yeah, my cousin Andy lived with me, and my brother says that we 69, but. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you all know? Who knows? 69? Who knows? 69. <laughs> and then I, I hadn't seen my cousin Andy ser seriously for like 25 years, and his mom died. And I, <laughs> I saw him at the by her casket, and I, I was with my mom. I go, do I have to hug him? She said, you don't have to if you don't want to, right? And I did, and it was really fucking weird. Like, I wanted to say sorry for 69ing you, but... You, you, you should have just hugged him upside down, you know what right. I mean? Just grabbed him and fucking... <laughs> do a handstand and then hug him. Yeah, exactly. Just walk up on your hands and just relive it again, you know what I mean? I've never 69 my cousin before, so... Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> So, uh, Dylan, is stand-up something you've always wanted to do? Have you listened to this show before, and I, you're like, I'm going to start right there? I've listened to the show, like, uh, maybe three episodes, yeah. but I've always, like, I wrote down notes and stuff in Evernote, but I've never actually done it. I just thought that this, this would be the most terrifying way to do my first time, so I just did it. So. Fuck yeah. And you know what? Stand-up is the bravest thing you can do, and you did it, and that's fucking amazing. So give him a round of applause, everybody. There you go. It's an amazing thing. It really is. Dude, when I first did it, I was so scared. I was shaking. I couldn't. I'm definitely shaking. The first yeah, time but you did great, though. The first yeah. time you did what? Sucked off your cousin or <laughs> stand-up uh, comedy? Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Dylan, any parting words? What else? Are you going to do this again? Do you like the uh, rush that you got? You're, you keep I moving do, farther and farther back to the point where I think you're going to end up at that fire exit <laughs> if you keep wiggling back anymore. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm moving down here next month, so I'll probably try this out again. Fuck yeah. Also, I have one last thing to say. When you, um, you want, if you want to take the mic off the stand, put the stand in back of you. Because oh. it's like it's like yeah. in front of you yeah. and it's distracting. Don't don't sit on it, Dylan. Don't sit on it. Uh, <laughs> just put it behind you. You've put long black things behind you before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've answered it once again. You're a bottom, Dylan. Uh, so there you go. Fun to have you on. Congratulations. Your first time doing stand up, <laughs> Dylan Gray. He's on Twitter, Dylan James Gray. And there you go. That's your first first comedian. Fuck yeah. That's start. how it happens. That's how it happens, right yeah. there. Uh, everybody knows that our listenership across the world has a very, very, very heavy bisexual Republican uh, <laughs> following. So, you know, it's just a little glimpse of... Doesn't seem like if he's bisexual, he should be bipartisan as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's a political joke. 
<laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Jermaine Para. Yes. Here he comes from way up top. Oh, boy. The long walk. Jermaine Parr, everybody. Come on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am a contractor, and I've uh, been doing some work for a client who's a, actually a congressman, Democrat, and he would every now and then come down to where we're working, run his ideas. And that was a long walk. I'm tired. He would run his ideas by the workers, and this was his idea. He said, what if we started a program that encourages pedophiles to have sex with midgets instead. Everybody wins. And I said, uh, first of all, it's little people. You can't say midgets. That's a joke. 50 seconds of thunder from Jermaine Cara. Am I saying that right, German? Jermaine. Right first time, that's good. Jermaine. Hell yeah. I uh, like any set that ends with, first of all, and then ends. <laughs> yeah. You don't get the second or the third. Was there more to that? I, I thought I was out of time, so I didn't want to get the big... You had a few seconds left. You want to finish it now? What's second of all? No, just do one more joke, please. Do one more joke. Ended on the first of all? That's what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it. Okay. <laughs> Right. Let me ask you this. Do you have any more jokes? Let's start there. I do have more jokes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One minute, man. Okay, buddy. Leave him one more. Yeah, I get it. I get so, it. Uh, you're a pro, man. You're a pro. So your real name's Jermaine? Jermaine. Jermaine. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Jermaine. Right. Like, How'd you get that name? I was a baby. I don't remember. <laughs> what nationality are you? <laughs> I was a baby. I was, okay. You're not an American. Yeah. Shadiest He's answer just fucking ever. tan. We're Relax. Not, we're not TSA. You can answer honestly. What nationality are you? My parents uh -huh. came from Mexico. Ah. Oh. Oh. I was born right here. Right. Oh. Oh. So you're yeah. fucking Mexican. Right. Oh. Yeah. If I went to Mexico and said I was that's, Mexican, that's they would racist, say, you're Bobby. not a fucking Mexican. You're an American. Right. So when that happened, I said, you know what? Well, you guys can go fuck yourself. <laughs> can I ask you a question? I grew up in Mexico when I was 8 to 13. I lived there, and I was treated horribly, by the way. Hola, que tal? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, let me, I didn't understand your joke, really. So you said everyone wins. So the pedophiles and the you midget. to be with somebody who's Yeah, but little. the midget doesn't win. Right. You get to be with a person. Yeah, but the midget doesn't win. What, he doesn't want to be in that situation. A politician who was trying to solve some problems. I'm not, it wasn't my idea, man. I okay, all right, my bad. All what right, were you doing? I'm... You were doing uh, like a city council meeting? No, I was working at this dude's house. Whoa. <laughs> building his kitchen. Was right? it Dylan Gray? <laughs> <laughs> you can look him up. He's a real congressman. This is a true story. It's not bullshit. This right. is what he said. Yeah. He, I said, I have to tell people about this because it was funny as hell. I thought it was. Right. So he wanted the pedophiles to it's hook up. It's a program up. that encourages pedophiles to have sex with midges instead. It sounds like a good idea on the surface. What, what, if, you added, what if you added this you, so that everyone's a winner? Uh, maybe little people that have daddy complexes. That way everybody wins. Because then their dad is there fucking There you go. <laughs> See, yeah. you get professionals that help you make the uh, material better. <laughs> <laughs> So the congressman said, let's let the pedophiles have sex Encourage. with midgets instead of going to jail? Encourage them. Encourage instead them. Instead of having sex with kids, they're having sex with the midgets. What? I don't so, understand. Well, yeah, but you said everyone wins. The midgets don't win. <laughs> yeah, the midgets. They don't win. But it's not my, I, it's not my idea. Bobby's kind of short, if you didn't notice. I was so upset they called them midgets. I was like, bro, it's little people. Yeah, that's the, but that's the only part that you added to the joke. You basically just told... So what someone else said, and then and then added the word little people. Uh, so what they were saying is that, do you have any more of the joke, or like, do you have any other tags, shit to add to that, and not dripped off with first of all. I don't call them midgets Maybe I or. Take out first of all. <laughs> good, oh. e good edit. Right Can there. I say one? Uh, <laughs> good, It'll good live, right live editing. <laughs> I mean, you guys are focusing on first of all, which is. 
it's just a look. First of all, second of all, to be honest, of course we're gonna focus on first of all. We want to know what second of all and third of all were. Fourth of all is. We want to hear more. That's like foreplay, and then you go. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Here's a pedophile to finish the job for me. <laughs> That's sort of what it's like. Uh, yeah, I don't call them midgets or little people. I call them footlongs, and which is fitting because according to this, that's what we could have Jared do. You know what I mean? Is right. just fucking hook up Imagine with some midgets. If he was hooking up with midgets, nobody would get hurt on the deal. This congressman, what does he do for work now? He's a Democrat in the Congress right now. Wow. And he owes wow. me 1500 bucks, which is why I'm going to tell his story. Holy oh, shit. What's oh. his name? Say it. You have to say it. He owes you 1500 bucks. He owes you money, dude. I still want to get those 1500 bucks, man. <laughs> is he more successful than the guy that the last comic works for? Yeah, you're getting butt-fucked harder than the last guy. That's what sucks. At least he's not 1500 deep from his boss. Why are you letting these guys push you around, Jermaine? Don't you, don't you ever just use that first name to your fucking advantage? You know what I mean? You know who the fuck I am? I'm a fucking Jermaine, motherfucker. Just go all like, show them that, you know. That What's it rhyme with? His name is Antonio Cardenas from Silmar. <laughs> Look his ass up. <laughs> Look his ass up, man. <laughs> the horn of truth comes out out of nowhere. I love that. I don't think anyone can spell that, what you just said, so I think yeah. he's safe. Tony. Everybody calls him Tony. Oh, oh. I see. No. Jermaine, um, now, so what do you do exactly for work? I'm a contractor. I build kitchen cabinets. I take old kitchens out, put new ones in. Oh. I just do the cabinets. I don't do the granite. Fuck yeah, you really are Mexican. Me to do the granite. <laughs> do the granite. That's your Mexican side. Now I see. It's not in your first name. It's not in your last name. It's in your occupation, and I appreciate that. Right. Cabinet building. And he doesn't finish the job. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, granite's not my job. That's a different contractor, man. That's the Italian, right? And you talk shit about midgets on stage because you know midgets don't buy cabinets because they're too high up, so <laughs> fuck them anyway, right? I was defending the midgets. You were defending the midgets. Yeah, I was saying. <laughs> uh, okay. Jermaine, what do you like to do for fun? What's your favorite hobby? You seem like, a, uh, you seem like an undercover cop, so I want to know, like, what do you do for fun? Like, what's the crazy shit you jerk off to or something like that? All right, other than stand-up. Come on, give us something good. What's your favorite hobby? I'm a musician also. Really? What kind of music you play? Guitar? all kinds. I'm a bass player. Bass player, hell yeah. Bass. You know how to get all that pussy. Bass players rolling it deep, right? You should get all the fall off from every yeah, that's, other... that's basically what it is. <laughs> Jermaine the bass player. Yeah. Not black. That's right. <laughs> He's still not black. The old nope. bait and switch. How long have you been doing stand-up, Jermaine? Uh, in November, it's one year. Fuck yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you, man. It was nice to meet you, and thanks for coming on the show. There goes Jermaine, Jermaine Cara. He's on Twitter at James underscore Schrader, a totally different name. Who the fuck's James Schrader? I don't know what that is. Oh, that must be somebody else signed up. Oh, for the Twitter? Yeah. No, it's just, it's just my name. I don't know why they put that. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Jermaine Parra, everybody. There he goes. If you need cabinets, any comedians that need cabinets, Jermaine's going to give you a good deal. A lot of comedians in Hollywood right now are uh, looking for... All right, fuck it. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This next one goes by the name of Bo Laughman. There's no way these are real. Somebody... Oh, it's a real person. Here he comes. Bo Laughman. It's Laughman, but okay. I'm good. I, uh, I went back home recently. That was good. It's good to go back home. It's weird jerking off in the bed you grew up in, especially when your family sold that home years ago. But, yeah, current residents aren't happy, but you know. You know you've had too much to drink when you pass out and your friends draw on you with permanent marker, but you know you hit rock bottom when you pass out and your friends draw on you with permanent marker, but it's all positive shit, you know? <laughs> Like, get help. 
We love you. <laughs> Have you ever hit a parked car and had to leave a note? But then you come back later way drunker and you're like, fuck that, you take the note back? Right? Yeah. If you ever hear somebody say, we're all men here, you're going to see their dick. That's how it works. That's just how it works. <laughs> Did you all hear about the shooting that happened here? It's pretty crazy. I was there. It was intense. It was me, Steve Ranazizi. <laughs> wow. There you go. There you go. Topical. Oh, God. Topical. <laughs> <laughs> almost had Steve on the show tonight, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, almost. Would you have still done the joke? Yeah, of course. He would have loved yeah. it. He would have yeah. loved yeah. it. Yeah. Would he? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, Bo, um, great stuff. I love your style. Jokes were great. Uh, fun stuff. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about seven years. Wow. wow. Where at? Uh, I started in Houston, moved to Austin, then I moved here about two months ago. Wow. And you've clearly been doing all of that in the same T-shirt. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I pants and sneakers. Yeah. yeah. Laundry day was, should have been today. But. Yeah. yeah. You got the beard. You have the suave hair. You must be just rolling deep in ev anything you want, right? If you, I don't know whether you're into girls or Dylan, but mm -hmm. you can basically get whatever you want, right? I got, I got a girlfriend, and she's great, you know? What does she do? She's in school. She goes to LMU. LM, LMU. What's that? Loyola Marymount. Oh, okay. That's an all-female school, right? No, no. It's, oh. uh, it's like a, I don't know. It's a school. She does fine art. I don't know. Fine art? Yeah. What's that mean? She, that's what she It's better than shitty art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an unpaid position. That's what it is. Huh. Wait, uh, so she, she came out here before you? Or did no, you guys... no, we came out together about two months ago, yeah. But you arranged it so she'd start school as you came out. She applied to two schools in New York and one in L.A. She got better financial aid here, and we came here. Do you use her shampoo? I don't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we yeah. Share shampoo. yeah. We share a shampoo. There you go. Were Pat all Reagan. those jokes new, or you're just too lazy to memorize them? Uh, I would like. I was on here last week, and so I did like kind of B material, and so I kind of had to glance over a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you you had one minute and you did B material? I was on here last week, so I had to not do that stuff, which yeah, I had it, memorized. It was B I didn't... material during the second minute. Yeah. yeah, sometimes minute two gets a little yeah. rough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes <laughs> minute two, you yeah, start you to gotta, panic. You got a I'm really good D. I know. Yeah. Seven years and uh, <laughs> seven years in the game, and you get on minute two, you gotta. Yeah. When's your uh, new comedy special on Vine come out? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Vine Redman. You did a lot better. You, you did great this week. I remember, I think you did better than last week, right? Really? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that your real last name, Lothman? It's Lothman, but yeah, it's spelled like that. Yeah. It's really spelled like that? Yeah, really That's a great spelled. comedy name. Yeah, it's, it's kind of bittersweet, you know. Why is it bittersweet? Well, it's kind of seems hacky, you know, laugh man. I mean, but that's your actual last that's name. That's my actual last name. So well, then it's right. not hacky. Yeah. Comedy yeah. humor, which yeah. is humor. Yeah. It's great comedy. That's good, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I really like you, man. You did a good job. Thanks, I really like you. Yeah. yeah, it was fantastic. I really thought it was great. And, uh, yeah, that would be my only thing is don't bring up a, a notebook for your second minute of comedy know, in two I weeks. I, w I just, I don't know. Right. I'm glad you could be here uh, from taking, you know, taking a break from fucking your sister on Game of Thrones to be here. Uh, it's a real honor. Come the on, new man. the new hand looks great. Looks amazing. Looks just like a normal hand. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Bo, what do you do for fun? What's your favorite hobby other than stand up? Uh, I skateboard. I said that last time. I uh, Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's all you got, huh, Bo? I've been, uh, you want to look at your hand, maybe see if you have any other answers uh, for what you do for fun? Yeah, I, uh, How much I pot do you smoke? Too much, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? Slightly too much. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing the Brea Improv in like three weeks. I want you to host my shows. Really? Oh, wow. Nice. Look, look at that. that. That's there you go. I want you to host. Thank you. That's the kind now of magic that can happen here, here, here on Kill Tony. Here, Bo Laughman. There he goes. Getting a gig out of it. Oh, what other yeah. show does that happen on? Kill Tony, making dreams come true. I love that.
He's on Twitter at Bo period Laugh Man. I'm gonna call him Laugh Man. I'm not gonna fall for that lo Lothman shit. Loth you want you want you want Lothman? Go be a fucking lawyer. Right. And now enunciate the laugh part. That's what I say. You're in comedy. Own it. See, this guy goes by his real name. <laughs> Put your hands together for Matthew Maloney. Oh my God. We will witness the extinction of taxis in our lifetime. Much like the horse and carriage, there might be one or two that'll drive you through Central Park for the purpose of romantic nostalgia, but that's about it. This is what we'll be telling our grandchildren. 40 years from now, we're all gonna be like, back in my day, bags at the grocery store used to be free. And there were these yellow cars that would charge us $50 just to take us across town. And I know $50 is what you kids these days would pay for a bottle of soda. But this is back in 2015, before President Trump fucked it up for everyone. <laughs> and they're not even gonna care. They're gonna have their Oculus Rift glasses on and they're gonna be like, Shut the fuck up, Grandma! I'm trying to watch porn! Fuck yeah, that's exactly a minute. Yeah. Matthew Maloney coming Matthew in for Maloney. the kill. Look at that. Uh, s sorry, Bo Laughman, your spot at the Brea Improv in three weeks just got taken from you. Uh, by who seems to be the funniest giant nine-year-old baby I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. This is incredible. For, for, for a second, I thought you were a fortune themester, I swear to God. <laughs> Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, I love very it. funny. Very good. Great tits. Yeah, <laughs> they're real. Uh, they're real. Really nice. I love your style, Matthew. That was great. Uh, so 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 fun. How long have you been on stand up? A uh, little under a year. Wow, you're wow. great. You're gonna be a monster. Where are you from? Uh, Palm Springs. Fuck yeah. Oh, Palm. Palm, okay, Palm Springs area. I have a friend who gets really mad when I say I'm from Palm Springs. I'm really from Bermuda Dunes, but no one knows where that is. Bermuda Dunes? Yeah. yeah. Wow, what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> it's like living 20 minutes away from Palm Springs. Oh, huh. Jesus Whoa. Christ. Is it, is it oh. nice? It's it's in your it has a nice name. Bermuda yeah. Dunes? Yeah. Yeah. Is there internet? Th that must be dusty internet, right? <laughs> like, what, what kind of like lifestyle is living 20 minutes outside of Palm Springs? Obviously pretty sedentary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lot, lot of air conditioning. <laughs> uh, amazingly, you are less out of breath than the guy before, who was, <laughs> who was actually far, uh, closer. Uh, you did great, man. You did great last time. Uh, you you continue to do. Have you been getting up a lot? Uh, um, no. To to be honest. No. Well, you're just a fucking. Can you lie to me? Then aren't you? <laughs> I, I mean, I try. I'm, I'm going places. I'm trying well, to get up. How old are you? Uh, 24 right now. Oh, you're a baby. Yeah. Jesus. Baby. Oh, you know what? I think you have a future, man, because you're young and you have a commitment level and uh, you're weird looking. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Totally. If yeah. your heart holds up, you're going to have a long career. <laughs> really, really good. It won't. Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you guys a question? Oh, shit. Here we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Matthew Maloney loading up over here. Look out. <laughs> this is the first time I've been insulted by a fucking candy apple before. <laughs> I guess, I guess you're more green than a candy apple, but fuck it. Go ahead, Matthew. Sure. What um, is it? Well, I, I just want a little bit of advice because, um, and I'm not trying to brag about this to anybody here, really not, but um, I, I did a, a set here on this stage, and I was approached by a talent agent, uh -huh. and I had my first... Um, who was it, Bobby Ball? No, it was oh. not Bobby Ball. Oh, who was it? Lance Kaufman, if you must know. With who, uh, L, who, L of that? eight. I don't know. I don't know. With what? L of eight. Elevate talent agency. Is that what it said that on his license familiar. plate? <laughs> 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 anyway, I got, I got a meeting with my first talent agency. So what do you like, want for advice? I don't know like what to go in and ask or expect. Just or tell them the truth. They're not going to be able to do anything that you can't do. All I right. mean, just tell them to, that if they can get you fucking commercial auditions, that you'll get that shit. Because look at you. Uh, yeah. I also, you can, you can I, sell anything. Yeah. I also would, I would wait. Yeah. 
You're why? Right. Yeah. Why? Why? Because I've never. I mean, they're probably great, but it's like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right now, it's like just, just go up on stage four to five times a week and develop, mm -hmm. and then one day they'll come to you. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. You know. Everyone I mean, will come I, to you. I guess they already are. My thing, my advice would be if if you're if you want to do commercial work so that you can make some money and survive and get to do a lot more stand up, then that's what I would shoot for. That's what I did. I got a commercial agent right out of the gates and made just enough yours? side cash. Aqua. Aqua. Yeah, yeah, us, yeah, yeah. In fact, I think you got us the showcase. Yeah, I got you an agent, Aqua. <laughs> no, seriously, the guy's my friend, and you'd be perfect. Yeah. I'm okay. a dream weaver. I'm a fucking dream weaver. Yeah, yeah. A conflicting message, but I, I love that. Well, well because the one thing, one guy's a talent agent that does, what does he do? Specifically commercials or just in general? What, this guy? Yeah. Uh, he told me he was he was meeting with his a uh, commercial guy as well as his, because um, he's just a scout. Well, then fucking do whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just asking. I, I would, I would, I would take. You're the, giving a lot tonight. I, ne next time a comedian offers you their agent, just take the agent. <laughs> oh, Bobby, I'll take the agent. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Bobby job. gives away gigs. He gives away agents. This is a real Hollywood episode. Keep dreams are coming true. You're gonna be great, man, Matthew. I mean, fucking look at your look at head. You. Right. <laughs> if they do, you know how they did Tiny Tunes. <laughs> where they did the younger versions of the If they do Lost, the Tiny Tunes. Yeah. Right. What's, what's your favorite snack, Matthew? <laughs> what's your favorite snack? Goldfish. Wow. wow. Man, really quick. Like, I get the feeling like you have a goldfish next to the bed. No, I'm just sponsored by them. They're, I don't really like them that much. I see what you did there, Matthew. Thank you. Um, yeah. Do you do improv at all? Any improv classes or anything like that? Um, only, only with my friends from high school theater, but like no, nothing. Right. In a stage. I mean that that act out. Uh, you know, it's it's. I I usually don't like act acts, but but you pulled it off. Uh, but I think just if you have a lot of material that has that kind of stuff in it, you'd probably benefit from doing a couple of improv classes. You know, just because, especially if you want to get into commercials. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's true. I'd say take a class. There you go. Ouch. Sure. Taxis are definitely going to go extinct if people in the future are your size. What Jesus, the fuck was that, that supposed was to mean? That was really mean. That was really uh, mean. Why don't you explain yourself? What do you mean by that? How would taxis go extinct? They'd need to be bigger. They would need to be a larger size. Taxis would need to be... You're saying you don't think he can fit in a normal taxi. You're saying he's fat. Are you fat wow. shaming on Kill Tony, bro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. What, exactly, what kind of show do you think this is, Pat? Jesus Christ, think, we're trying I'm to be constructive. A larger. <sighs> Might need to be you calling me fat now, bro? Wait a second. Whoa. <laughs> Brian clearly doesn't want to be called fat. He's clearly wearing camouflage to hide that part it's of his body yeah. tonight. Yeah, bro. Trying to hide my nips. <laughs> Uh, okay, Matthew, you you have the most likable head I've ever seen in my entire life. It was so nice to meet you. Congrats on your new commercial All agent, right. Matthew there Maloney. You go. There he goes. Mm. You ask advice about a meeting with an agent, you get an agent. You want to you wanna do get gigs? You get gigs here on Kill Tony. If I was the next comedian pulled, I would ask us, how do you get to perform at Madison Square Garden? And just hope that we just give it away. You got it. Next week, sold out. <laughs> We're making dreams come true here. This is exciting. Oh, wow. This is an interesting name to pull out of the bucket. This is the producer of this show. Every once in a great while, he signs up, and, uh, and this is one of those nights. Put your hands together for Josh Martin, everybody. Here he is. I got in an argument with a friend of mine. Uh, we got in an argument. Um, if we had a video of me fucking Beyonce, and on a separate video, Jay Z sucking my dick, which of the videos we which which of the videos would we show our friends first? <laughs> and I chose Jay Z sucking my dick, and he said I knew it. And just call me a faggot for the next 20 minutes. It's a much better option. Jay-Z sucking your dick is fucking great. That's the king of New York sucking your dick. 
You can get away with anything you want to do. You can be in court and the judge is like, Josh, you didn't pay your child support. You can just say, I was going to pay my child support, but Jay-Z was sucking my dick. <laughs> and the judge would be, okay, that makes sense. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Josh Martin with a minute. <laughs> Throwing it out there. It's his first appearance on the show in a long time. There's yeah, been a wow. buzz throughout this entire episode, but uh, I've been to out why, Mike why fix the buzz when you can just come up and perform, I guess? Uh, <laughs> so Mike's not making the buzz now. You're so. not doing one job. Might as well do the other. So I love it. The buzz has stopped. A lot of the buzz in the room has ended after Josh is set. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I, I, I've seen your material a few times. I noticed a lot of your jokes have dicks in it. Uh, is there a reason dicks for and your the word faggot? Yeah, a lot of dicks and fags. Just a real grumbler. Um, you know, people make fun of me a lot, and people call me a faggot all the time. So I just stay with it. Stay with what I know. You know, dick well, huh? <laughs> you can't really hate on that. I, it's I, true. I, 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 it's I'm a, true. I feel like I'm a pretty dirty comic, and I don't. It's what I like weird stuff. You see, I could have done my pro slavery Would joke. Would I suck a dick for a Lamborghini? <laughs> <laughs> well, what color is it? <laughs> That's a Josh Martin joke. So you seem to think very highly of Jay Z. Uh, you would let Jay Z suck your dick, is what you're saying. Wow. If I had a video of both of Jay Z sucking my dick and me fucking Beyonce. I would immediately show everyone the Jay-Z video. No, but I think Tony's point is yeah. you can't have a video of it without him sucking your dick. Right. So you're saying that you would let Jay-Z suck your dick. Is that correct? I'm saying I would. Okay, right. If he came to me, I would be okay, like, okay, settle down. Settle down, little puppy oh, boy. Relax. Getting hard Relax. up in here. We're going to take it one question at a time from here on out. You ready? Yeah. Would you suck Jay-Z's dick? No. The king of New York. Wait. No. no you no. say it like that. I said you would. You wouldn't suck who you just called the king of New York's dick. No, because I feel like I'm better than all these hoes. Oh. Wow. Like everyone. Fuck everyone. So. Would you let Jay-Z suck your dick if there were no video equipment in the room? Great fucking question, Greg. Great question. Because it seems to be the video is about the bragging rights. But would you? Would you? I mean, Jay Z. Jay Z does have an unbelievable set of lips on great, him. Am I right? Great mouth. Like He's got fucking, a great mouth. I don't know if you've seen right. those goddamn things, but they. It looks like it'd be one hell of a blowjob. And he moves them fast. Oh yeah, yeah. super fast. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'd love to. I would. I. I. I'd love like a, a to try some kind of simulation <laughs> machine. To see exactly what that dick sucking would be like, exactly. You have you have my wheels turning here, Josh. It's just a new brand. For normally, Flashlight. normally I just like Jay Z for wait, his music. Tony, but now I'm starting to picture this amazing blowjob. Wait, you would do. watch Jay Z suck his dick? I don't even want to be around that. I didn't say I would watch it. Wait, but I, sure? I, I am starting to think that maybe I'd let Jay Z suck my dick. What? Uh, video no. equipment or no video equipment? I probably crazy. wouldn't do. Without video equipment, because no one would believe me. What if Tony was in there watching and he could vouch for you? Very yeah. High what? Erratic, what? Erratic things detected around the males. Is this your robot impression? What is this, and Pat? And he killed the both now. Oh, good job, Josh. Hey, Josh, you're a friend of mine. I'm giving stuff away. Um, <laughs> here's a fifty. <laughs> wow, that's there a real fifty dollar bill. Wow. There you go. He's giving. I didn't understand a word you said in your act, <laughs> but there's a fifty, man. There you go. That's the first time uh, anybody's ever been paid on Kill Tony to quit stand-up comedy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I figure why not? I can do shit I've been doing for a while, but I figure why not do something I wrote last week? Right, so exactly. No, Still about those sense. dicks and stuff, though. Have you ever tried not doing, like, dicks? My newest joke is a pro-slavery joke, and I figured that would do way worse than a Jay-Z sucking my dick. Is there black dick in it? Like, what's it about? No, it's just that I think slavery would help me be a man, because you can't be weak and own slaves. Because they would just run all over you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, like, like having my body and having slaves is no different than owning high school bullies. I'm getting a wedgie some kind of way, you know. 
Thank goodness you did the Jay Z dick sucking material. Tonight. Give me the fifty back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> refund. Never should have done it. That's right, because we all know, we all know, slaves do not get paid. So you know. Yeah, that's why you can't really, you can't call it pro-slavery because they're not getting paid. No, but it's like, amateur slavery. <laughs> no, take, take the fucking money, Josh. Bend over and take it, <laughs> just like Josh, Dylan. I think, uh, I think you're funny. Like yeah, that was great. You, you did another minute. You talked about getting your dick sucked by Jay Z. That's an interesting fucking. But also, step. Josh, you're a character. You know what I mean? And it's like you're very. You're like a snowflake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no one else out there like you. And I, I, I'm actually fond of you as a person. I think you're a cool dude. And uh, just keep going up, and we'll see what happens. There you go, Josh Martin. Everybody, there he is, the one, the only, Josh Martin. Somehow he did figure out the buzz. The buzz is gone. He, Josh is, of course, on Twitter at Josh Martin Comedy, like we say at the end of every episode. But Josh. Josh, Martin. Up, Josh Martin, the Elvis Costello of comedy. Yes, indeed. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this looks like another new name. Put your hands together for Tommy Reynolds, everybody. Here we go. Sixty seconds. Oh, that's it. There's no Tommy Reynolds. No Tommy Reynolds. Let's try another one. Uh, Raquel Jason. Here she comes. That's a real human being. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm Raquel. How you doing? Uh, it can be a little confusing to figure out what type of women men are attracted to. And I think it's because movies have lied to us. I was just watching all the Rocky movies. And I used to think that Adrian was a really supportive wife. Here's Adrian in every single Rocky movie. You can't win, Rock! <laughs> M maybe he can. I mean, you've been wrong like two or three times at least. I just, I feel like he's earned the benefit of the doubt. And she does that in every single Rocky, except Rocky Six, because she's dead. <laughs> but if you look at the DVD deleted scenes, they have a reading of Adrian's will. It's really touching. She says, oh, to my son, I leave the pet store. To my beloved husband, Rocky, I know I'll see you soon. Because if you fight this guy, he's going to kill you. You cannot win, Rock. <laughs> uh, on the way over here, I heard a Christian rock band on the radio. I don't know if God exists, but if he does, I'm pretty sure he hates having his name attached to things that suck. There you go. A minute. Raquel. Jason, this is your first time on the show, right, Raquel? Yeah, it is. Uh, how long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about a year and a half. Where are you from? I'm from here originally, but I lived out of the country for a few years. Out in the country? No, out of the country. Out of the country. Where at? Uh, two years in Brazil and a year traveling through Southeast Asia. Whoa, two years in Brazil. What were you doing over there? Um, <laughs> what the hell? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. What? I, what, is, uh, what could you possibly have done wrong? Wait, what did I? What do you mean? What did oh, I? Oh, I thought you said it like, "What the fuck were you doing there?" No, I'm just like, uh, I'm just trying to get the stories. Right. Some kind of like suave dude or something. What kept you in Brazil for two yeah, years? There was a guy, a Brazilian, I dated for a month, and then I agreed to move to Brazil with him because I've never seen a Lifetime movie apparently, and it's uh, it didn't, it didn't end well. <laughs> wow. Where'd you meet him? I met him here oh. in Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. Um, you're an attractive lady, right? I just feel I'll like. Go on with that. Nice. I was kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're, you yeah, for comedy, me. you're attractive. And the thing is, is that when they're... <laughs> in comedy, she's a nine. In the streets, seven? <laughs> what? That's good. A seven's That's good. good. You're yeah. crazy. So listen, um, he's absolutely yeah, right. Giving me $50? No, no, no. <laughs> you're not going to get shit. But my point is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Um, what I want to say is, is that, like, whenever I see somebody that's, like, uh, attractive and a, a girl that's doing comedy, I feel like they should not wear a dress, and I think they should, like, kind of drev dress, I don't know, you know I, to I, tone I, down, I've you know what I mean? I've gotten that advice before, but it's just, it's really not what I don't Yeah, but it takes away from, from a, I, I feel, feel like, like as a man watching you, it kind of takes away from me actually 100% listening to you. I'm just trying to be... Honest with you, because shut the fuck up, dude. 
<laughs> I've had I've dated many girls in comedy and um, some attractive ones, and they just I just feel like it. And I've had some open for me, and it's just better when they're just you know like Whitney, kind of like baggy jeans and a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Well, well then uh, that's it. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Raquel, uh, do you do you always dress up when you do stand up? I just this is I, I always dress up anyway. Yeah, I was just, just raised to wear yourself, dresses. Right? My dad was very I was raised to be very feminine. And Have you thought about like a burka just just to make Bobby yeah. comfortable? Um, no, no. All right. I mean, it's just an angle. The unknown comic. <laughs> Raquel, you, uh, when, uh, when you were in Brazil, were you trying any stand up there? What made no, you want to no, get into it? I don't, I don't speak Portuguese, um, and it's, uh, they don't really have a sense of humor over there so much. And I, that's what I miss the American sense of humor. So I watched a lot of stand up videos, and I've seen a lot of stand up here. It was kind of a pipe dream like, oh, when I, when I go back to Los Angeles, I'm going to try it. You seem like such a nice person. I'm actually not that nice. Really? Oh, yeah. When are you not nice? When like what's the meanest thing you've done recently? You blown up on anyone? Anything no, like that? Oh goodness, no. Um, I can't, I can't. So are you nice or are you not goodness. nice? You just said goodness. I lied to you just now. Uh, about what? Being ni- not being nice. So you are nice. You are nice. Yeah, I guess I'm. I'm nice. yeah. Wow. Uh, Would you do reality TV? No. In wow, I like that. What Good answer. House like that you lived in? Yeah. What was it like? Good question. You know, it's, I mean, Third world country. Yeah. It's, uh, it yeah. Was, what, was your, what was your daily life like? Was it was. Your, I hate Brazil. You didn't I lived speak in, in Sao Paulo. No, the school. I don't follow Portuguese. What? Uh, it's, uh, what the she just said she doesn't speak Portuguese in Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to learn how to say that. No, it was. It's horrible there. It's awful. They have like the best PR ever because they export all the attractive people to Victoria's Secret, which they don't even have over there, and they don't have hot water and like regular like only in the shower. They don't have mops. They don't have sour cream or cheddar cheese. Or it's awful. A lot of, a lot of fake butts there, though, right? And the plastic surgery is horrible. It yeah, but it's cheap. Like a shark attack. Yeah. And my student showed me her like breast implant scar, and I was like, oh my god. Your student? Yeah. Oh, I, I owned an English uh, school. Yeah. An English school? Yeah, I was a teacher. For one month. Brazil. No, for two years. Oh. I lived there for two years. You owned it? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What other than stand up comedy, what do you like to do for fun? Like what's a fun hobby? Like dis frisbee golf or uh you know. Um, I'm I'm actually really, really dull. I like board games and I like um, a PS three. I play a lot of PS three. Fuck yeah. You don't smoke weed, do you? No, I do not. No, what definitely. game do you play? Um, my favorite are, are probably the Bioshocks or uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, I just got half hard. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout? Huh? Thank you. Huh? Fallout? Fallout, Fallout, Fallout 4 Fallout, coming yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What kind of fucking nerdy clips was that that I just <laughs> witnessed right there? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so, Raquel, yes. y- how often do you do stand-up? Do you get up a lot? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, well, I had a, a little month. I fell in love for a few months. and so. I Have you ever dated time. a comedian before? I'm dating one now, yeah. Oh, what's his name? Jose. Jose what? Treviso. I'm Jose. a big fan of his work. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've ha- I've had chorizo a few times and it's fucking delicious. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so you have a particular kind of guy, right? You, uh, yeah, you like I, the I love south of the border. Uh, well, yeah. I guess yeah. Like have you ever dated an a- Asian person? Uh, I went on one date with an Asian guy once. One time, what happened? It didn't work out. Oh, really? <laughs> what happened? I lived in Thailand for a while. Ooh. So, um, ah, is that where you went on the date with the Asian guy in Thailand? <laughs> because I was still with the Brazilian then. Oh, oh okay. So wh- what did you do on this date with the Asian guy? Are you sure you just didn't uh, no, eat by d- yourself at a hibachi grill or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> Are we calling that a date? I love it. You're so quick. Oh, thanks, Raquel. <laughs> 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 no, really, I have, <laughs> I, I have seen his stand-up, and he does this fantastic joke about this guy. Okay, with thank you, Raquel, Raquel, Raquel. I know. It's my show. It's all good. Settle down. Uh, that guy with an eye patch at the roller rink and he immediately he was like oh diversity the sticker and i'm like oh you're against diversity and he said oh one of those types molested me when i was a kid and i'm like i'm just getting my ticket i don't but i was like is that the same guy with the eye patch and i was so excited probably to tell you. probably and not did you tell me about this i did tell you yeah wow i do not remember that tony you're just so used to hot blonde chicks coming up and you talking know, it's to you. another day for me 
you know. Just Too bad she doesn't date white guys. Right. Exactly. Uh, so when, I'm guessing when you were in Brazil, the only movie that they would play is Rocky because you, you're, you, have a, <laughs> you have a pretty good, yeah, and then you segued into a Christian rock joke. Uh, what, what else? Is all of your things rock-based? Are you like a... Six out of six rocks. That fucking buzz is killing me. I know, tonight. What is that coming from? Josh, are you just, have you given up completely? <laughs> okay. Raquel, um, tell us something crazy about you, other than the fact that you play video games and uh, you're boring. Tell us something else. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything interesting about you? Are you, you? ticklish? Yeah, not terribly. Yeah, no, uh, I was raised uh, by my father, so I didn't have any female influence around. What uh, nationality was your father? He's a lot of stuff. They're really big on genealogy on my dad's side of the family. They're kind of snooty about it. So uh, it's Scottish, Irish, Polish, German, English, Dutch, Native American, Scandinavian, Lithuanian, and French. No, yeah. so it's called wow. a mutt. Wow. Everybody. Sally sells seashells. Wow. Yeah, all right. Thank you well, for being so nice. Oh, of course. Really nice. Yeah, no, I'm glad to uh, help you out. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I think that Rocky joke's really funny. I never really thought of it that way. I think that even though it's an older reference, I think it still works, that it's great. My only note for you would be to, you know, tag that Christian Rock joke, spread it out. I know you only had a minute, but also I would really stick with Bobby's note. We've gone through this over this show a thousand times, that it is distracting when you're pretty. And you watch any of the, you know, we work with all the best I didn't tell stars. you that because I don't know shit. Right. I told you that because from ex I'm sorry, my bad. We my work bad, with I'm so sorry. I, I we work with all the best female stand-ups in the world, and you see Whitney, yeah. and you see Amy Schumer, and you see Natasha Leggero, and they're wearing she hoodies and dresses. jeans. Yeah, on a special, so, right? Well, One, I'm not, I'm not yelling. I'm yeah. That's how I talk. That's how I talk. <laughs> that's how I talk. But speaking of special. Bobby Lee is giving you a one-hour special. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go. Raquel Jason, everybody. She's not on Twitter. She doesn't have a Twitter handle. So, you perverts on the internet, that's all you're going to see of Raquel. Fuck yeah, look at Josh Martin. Try, try to pretend like he's doing something here. Oh, oh he's yeah. switching the cord. So Wait so a second. Uh oh. You, you, know, what, you know how this makes sense? Because yeah. he's going to plug in that cord over there. Right. So, it's just going to do it over there now. Right. So, then it'll be constant instead of sometimes. Let's turn him back up, see what we got, right? La, Josh la, la, Martin, la, la, the moment la, la. of truth. All right. Josh, you want to uh, give it a mic check? Give the stage mic a mic check? Mic check. Yeah, not oh, working. Wow. Not. Yeah, it is. What do we got? Okay. Now it just doesn't work. There you go, it Josh. Works. Just keep fucking working until it works, Josh. You're doing a hell of a job, buddy. <laughs> Great stuff, really. Hey, why don't you do? Uh, why don't you do one of your dick jokes again? Well, uh, it's, it works. It works. It was working, dude. All right, now we're going back to All the right. buzz. Uh, check one. It's so quiet. Why is that I'll so I'll turn it up. Quiet? I'll turn it up. Just All oh, right. Jeez. Guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. Yeah. Uh, okay. There you're you go. Kill, you're Josh killing Martin. Tony. Yeah. You're killing me, Tony. You're killing okay. me. Okay. We know this guy. This is an employee Tony. here at the Comedy Store. This is his first time signing up for this show in a very long time. This is one of the guys that got hired to work here out of the original Kill Tony crop. One of the original guys to do the show two years ago. Put your hands together for him. Here he is, Rich Slayton, everybody. I've seen a lot of different people tonight. A lot of strange humans, and now you get me. A guy who looks like he ate his way out of competitive skateboarding. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. I'm excited for Hillary Clinton. Uh, I'm going to vote for Hillary because I think she's really amazing. I think it's impressive how just one woman can look so much like George Washington. That's <laughs> an accurate joke about how she looks. Uh, I actually met her husband once, President Bill Clinton. I got to ask him one question. So here's what I asked him. I asked him, because of their age and their marital problems, I asked him if he can still get Hillary to come. That was my question. And his answer was very presidential. He looks me right in the eye and he says, son, it's easy. Just turn the lights down low. Put on your sexiest outfit and say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Some people like Bernie Sanders. Uh, I think he looks like he lost a fight to a desert wind, so not really my guy. Uh, 
Multiple cats on that one. Uh, <laughs> Rich, spitting out some of that new political humor, huh? Yeah, yeah. A lot of dick jokes tonight. I just look it up. So. I like that. Uh, so, how are things going? Eh, going all right. Going all right. I had to pay for parking tonight. That sucked. What? Yeah, what? Kings was full. So, that's two hours down the drain. Yeehaw, guys. Two hours worth of work for parking, guys. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, you're working <laughs> right now, right? Yep. You're on the clock here at the Comedy Store. Yeah. What, exa- what exactly are you doing? I'm sitting back there and uh, that. That's Your job is to, like, what? Watch this room or something? Make sure no one gets crazy, yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Maybe yeah, maybe uh, that's been the problem oh. with Locking tonight's show. Now, yeah. Really? People making sure shit doesn't get too crazy. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I heard somebody back there <laughs> shushing the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got back from Texas, right? Did you do a lot of comedy in Texas, or where were you? Texas where were you? <laughs> where you, you were who somewhere, are you right? Talking to? You were you were you're out of town somewhere for a while, right? I'm out of town. I do uh, shitty casinos a lot. So. Ah. Yeah. Huh. How how is that life? Casino life. It's really awful. It's really. I had to play behind a bar on the casino floor. So yeah, that's fun. Is there anything positive going on right now for you? In the world, like uh, in all of your life. I have a puppy. Kind of oh, there you go. Is that a wedding ring? Yeah, yeah, I'm married. Yeah. You're married. Yeah. Three years you've been married. How old are you? 31. 31, yeah. and you've been married for three years, yeah. doing stand-up the whole time. Yeah. your wife Working got some? she have a steady job? Oh, or yeah, you... she's a regular person. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't do that. That helps. Well, what? Oh, yeah. Why does she like you? <laughs> Jewish. She, oh, Rich she's is a, Jewish? Rich is, yeah. a, Rich is a mensch. Oh, thank you. Rich helped me. Rich helped me with uh, relationship advice. He helped me to break up with my girlfriend. Yeah. When I. <laughs> oh yeah. No one else should get married. It's not like I got the good one. You guys are all fucked. Right. And well, you say she's regular, and that yeah. she likes you. Your reason. I said, why does she like you? And you said because she's Jewish, or so you're we're Jewish. Both, we're both Jews. Ah. So that's it. That's, yeah, that's all you need. That's just how that works. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Being blonde hair, six feet tall, and Jewish makes it kind of easy. That's it. Oh, yeah. so you're like a rare Jew or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, it, uh, I think they call them survivors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rich, so how uh, what's how's that going? Three years in, you guys still having sex? Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally, I mean, she's Jewish. Were you guys ever having sex? Like, oh, what's yeah, no, that's a great question? Jewish, Jewish girls love sex. Love really? really? Yeah. Oh, I married one. They're fucking They're great. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They they um they don't have the shame. I find, you know, with the Irish Catholics, the where they have to turn the, the lights out. Jews will turn the lights on, suck it, look you right in the eyes. It's a wow. to have sex. God commands you to have sex. Yeah. Right. Really? Yeah. Holy. Twice on Saturdays. Nice. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm not that good of a Jew. But do you spread that out, or do you go back to back? Uh, I used to go back to back. I'm yeah. 31. Now it's like yeah. right. It back takes in the day. a little Set bit the clock. longer. So what does she do for a living? Front. She uh, works at a nonprofit. Nice. So do you. You work here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a Jewish nonprofit, guys. How you doing? What's the nonprofit that she works for? It's what are called we called American Jewish Committee, and they lobby uh, other foreign governments on anti-Semitism issues. Oh, boy. Yeah. Keeping, yeah. That, keeping that thing going, huh? Yeah. It's a big industry. Is it? Yeah. Is it really still happening? Are <laughs> they just donate to each other a lot. That's how Judaism works. Yeah, I think so. Um, I've noticed that. Uh, so, Rich, you're three years into stand-up, right? No, seven. Seven years Ooh. into stand-up. And yeah, you, thanks. That worked out well. And the comedy store has assigned you to keep an eye on the belly room on Monday nights. Yeah, it's really dangerous in here. You guys are all fucking up a lot, so here I am. Right. Okay. I I, I want to say something. Yes, Bob. I really like you a lot, dude. But um, I I I, I was I, I you know I don't want to lie to you because you're such a nice guy. I mean, you're a white dude. You know what I mean? You're just you know what I mean? You have this averagey kind of vibe about you. It's just I just feel like the material needs to be a little bit more edgy, and it's got to be. You know what I mean? I agree. Right. I mean. Right. I mean. Last, I mean. Last last I, last year I was very edgy. I tried to switch it up tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, I haven't really I seen you. But the thing is, is that. It's like I want you to succeed, but f- from what I saw, it's just like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, there's a million of you. It's true. Tonight you had yeah. all the flavor of a glass of water. Thank you. And just I thought you did great. Uh, I think you're amazing. And uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I've been. Don't even get your sarcasm. I'm trying to not do that because. Oh, cool. I don't know that. So okay. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from it. Because you're confident. I mean, yeah, you can tell that you've been doing it for a while. It's just, that's all. Okay. Sure. Thanks. I appreciate that. 
Um, do you and your wife ever argue about things? Do you guys ever fight? No, it's very easy going. Very, that's why I married her, because it's the no problems. Wow. It seems, yeah. That seems like a perfect thing. It's hard to do this and be married, so you have to get someone who actually like, is cool with it, doesn't want to stop you. Right. So, right. That's why none of you should get married, because most people want to stop you. Uh, Rich? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. We've had two comedy store employees up on this show, for those of you keeping track. And uh, they really pumped the brakes on the momentum, the adrenaline oh, of everything. The comedy yeah. store really representing. It's the away <laughs> teams that are winning here today, yeah. uh, for those of you keeping track. By the way, did somebody order a platter of bacon about four minutes ago? Do you <laughs> smell you, it? Do you smell it? I smell bacon. I don't smell it. Y'all smell chicken. Oh, well, at the, what the, the comedy store, the chicken <laughs> smells like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new name for sure. Uh, put your hands together for Madison Sinclair. Yeah. that it? You can finish it. Go can ahead. Finish it? All right. Um, ah. And uh, we just, all right, basically, we just try to get the bait and get away. And if the bait's good enough, uh, next thing you know, we're flopping up and down, the hook's in the mouth, and uh, if we're lucky, he'll take us home. And all right. The bear's coming out. The bear's coming out. Let's <laughs> Madison Sinclair. This is your first time on the show, right? How long have um, you been doing comedy? Oh, a year, okay. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Well, how long ago did you move here? A month ago. Okay. Did you ever play the improv there in Orlando? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. Uh, I mostly performed in Tallahassee because I went to FSU. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, um, I did, like, some of the bars around here. Did you ever work at a theme park? No, I've never worked at a theme park. Yeah, you don't look like you would work in a theme park. <laughs> you look No, I mean, you look kind of almost gothy a little bit. A little bit. I look like I uh, hate my parents. <laughs> well, not that you hate them, but that they they might hate you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, right. Yeah. You, you, uh, you, there's something very hot topic about you. Um, <laughs> so, Madison, you've been doing stand-up for a year. You did it mostly in Tallahassee at FSU, and now you've been here a month. How's the L.A. treating you? It's been all right. Um, I moved out here for my job, so I've been busy for that. What's but that job? I work at The Soup. The Soup? Yeah. The show? Yes. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you do there? Uh, watch TV and just write jokes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, so you're a writer at, on The Soup? Well, it's weird. Um, it's kind of like an internship because I get credit for school, but I get paid and I get to put material on there. So I'm good. So they've used your material on the show? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. You have to be careful because that's in direct violation of the Writers Guild. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Will they come back to you on that, Greg? That is true. No, you can't. Yeah, you're not allowed to accept a written material from somebody who's not in the Guild if it's a Guild show. And I believe it's a Guild show, right? Uh, I'm in a program here in D.C. Yeah, but it's still wrong. Yeah. That aye, aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> What's your official job title there, Eddie? Uh, it's called uh, Wow, so they're ding, paying you money, ding, and you're getting college credit. Yeah. 
and you're getting jokes on the air, yep. on the soup. Who's hosting that now? Uh, still Joel. Really? Yeah. Wow. I thought he was done with that. Nope. Interesting. Did, did you guys get the Bop It reference? I, I, I mean, oh, yeah, I got the Bop It the, reference. I used yeah. to Bop It. Mm -hmm. I liked how you, you explained it, too, because at first I was like, oh, shit, if no one knows what the Bop It is, no one's going to get it. You did a pretty good idea. Flick of it. it. Flick It. Did yeah. you say Flick It? I didn't do Flick It. Yeah. You yeah. have a wide stance. You have a wide stance, like an umpire. <laughs> Childbirthing hips. Balls and strikes. No, I like that. I, I, it's kind of different. I, I think it's always good to do something different on stage physically. So you came up, and for people that are listening, she spread her legs. And no, really, and it's just, it's just something that you go, all right, that's kind of confident and different. Mm -hmm. I like that. You think I'm being sarcastic, but I'm being very serious. No, even that thing I just said? Serious. <laughs> also, you did something that you were moving forward instead of back. Like sometimes when people are new, they kind of drift backwards. But you held your ground and yeah. you were forward. The only thing I want to say is that you're an attractive young lady. Oh and boy. <laughs> this is how they're fucking supposed to. You're supposed to dress like that, okay? Yeah. Uh, sh shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you. I mean. <laughs> but like the sexual stuff, maybe you know what I mean. I mean, it's, you're you're in, but it's like you don't, you know what I mean. Just start writing stuff that has nothing to do with that. <laughs> what was your second <laughs> joke? <laughs> I, I, why were you laughing? No, it's just funny because it's like. <laughs> wait, Greg, Greg, wait, Greg. What are you laughing about? I just like because I don't know if he's saying this for the benefit of her career or so that he can focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All these comments seem to be like I'm getting distracted. <laughs> no, by no, no, shit. that's not. Could you get ace bandages yeah, and pack about. them down I mean, before and you uh, perform? So the second joke, you did bop it, and then you went into what? It's about tattoos. It's actually a true story. Um, right. My grandma found out about my tattoos in the first thing she said. Mm -hmm. You can't get buried in a Jewish cemetery. What nationality are you? Um, uh, That's what I was asking, because you said your whole house wasn't Jewish. I was kind of confused with your the end of that joke. I was I didn't, re didn't understand what you were saying. So I think the punchline is just that we're not we're not Jewish. Yeah, that's just tighter, yeah. Uh, how do I Three words. Change that, you say we're not Jewish. Just we. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, because you you said like everyone in my house, and he said something like the dinner you had a dinner, and I was like, wait, I don't, I'm totally lost now. What you're talking about? Okay. You know, maybe just cut the fat from that. Well, we were Christmas dinner. So I thought that Madison, was what do you do for fun when you're not doing stand up? What what are you into? What's something interesting about you? Really, ukulele. Yeah. What made What made you learn that? Just it, it's easier than guitar, <laughs> and I'm really bad at guitar, so I decided to jump. So what can you play on the ukulele? I love playing sad songs on ukulele. It's my favorite thing in the world. I can picture that. <laughs> well, it's just such a contrast because the ukulele is like the happiest sounding instrument in the world. You ever see the movie The Jerk? No, actually. A lot of sad ukulele in that. Check it out. Uh, Arctic Monkeys, mostly. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So you play the ukulele. That's that's pretty much the most interesting thing, other than you do stand up about you. Uh, don't put me on the spot like that. It's uh, not that big of a spot to be put on to be asked uh, what, what you like to do in you life. Oh yeah, you're just asking me what's interesting about me as a person. Um, yeah, I play ukulele. Did you buy that watch yourself, or was it a gift? Uh, it was a gift <laughs> for my birthday. What? It's a little, yeah, and it's backwards. It's they were calling out the hot topic. When everyone was saying the hot topic thing, I was just seeing the watch. I was like, that's not like hot topic. It's, We're gothic. It's, it's still not. East Coast time and it's upside down right now. I clearly, I don't use it for time whatsoever. How many times a week do you go up? Um, how many times a week do I go up? Yeah. Um, I mean, go up on stage. Go up on stage. Um, I go to open mics almost every single day. I get up Amazing. Maybe good. Maybe four times a week. How many? Four times a week. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So you're working all day, every day, and then you're going out. Every night doing stand up. Yeah. Wow. So you don't have much of a social life. That is yourself. That's great. That's great. There she goes, Madison Sinclair, everybody. Nice Thank to meet you, Madison. Madison. Does she have a Twitter? She's, she's on Twitter at Madded Sinclair. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Vanessa Johnston, everybody. Ooh. Vanessa Johnston. Here we go. Ooh, 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 Whoa. ooh, ooh. Um, I just broke up with my girlfriends. Thank 
It was a mutual termination. She's a rape victim and I'm sexually aggressive. So it just didn't work out. <laughs> and I felt bad though because like thankfully I've never been raped where the guy did not make sure that I came first. <laughs> so they've always been like so nice to me, like to make me the best wet martinis. We're hip not with like a dash of plan B. So thoughtful. <laughs> I've always been like pretty good at sex. When I was 13, my parents sat me down. They're like, hey, it's time we talk about sex. And I was like, sure, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> that was a minute, right? That's 47 seconds, but if you want to end it now, we can. There she is, Vanessa Johnston, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Vanessa, this is yeah. your first time on the show, right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, where are you from? How long have you been in LA? Five years. How long have you been doing stand up? Four months. Wow. wow. Very funny for four months. Yeah, thank you. What do you what else what else do you do? Like for work or for fun? Both. Um I work at HBO for work. What do you do there? I worked in programming for a bit and now I work in business and legal affairs. Uh -huh. So I do like contract negotiation and like drafting. But I'm leaving and going to like a smaller company. Right. I used to live in Minnesota. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> I did, at Dinah, when I was a baby. That's where, like, that's where I grew up. Yeah. Holy shit, you guys have something in common. For uh, those of you listening, Bobby's just happy because she's wearing a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, sexual about I really it. think that you're really edgy, and obviously you're attractive, <laughs> attractive and, um, but you're very edgy, and um, I just like her all, whole vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was really good. good. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, it was good because it is, uh, well, you know, it, it is weird because I, I, I'm not in agreement with you guys about how women dress on stage. I think that, you know, I think that <laughs> Schumer dresses sexy, um, Natasha can dress sexy. So yeah, I don't But not when they're doing like local no, shows. Natasha always dresses. Yeah, she wears skirts all the time. Locally. Yeah. It's definitely harder because I've like experimented with both. And I think that like it's a lot easier for a crowd to be alienated from you if you dress up more um, mm. but what if a guy dresses up but I mean different. like what are you gonna wear like if you were if you came up here in short shorts yeah that would definitely absolutely some people. <laughs> same, <laughs> right. same thing, same thing. Uh, uh, you were really great, Greg. I love watching you absorb that for a second. Like <laughs> no, you're like, I think I can fucking <laughs> pull off some shorts. I don't know shorts. what a sexy guy looks like because I'm so fucking straight. But like, <laughs> it does see. It just seems like um, you should dress how you dress, however you feel comfortable. I love that. You got the women howling at that one. It's true. Well, they're whores. Be yourself. I love it. <laughs> Equality for everybody. That's the era that we live in now. Um, uh, they're making an all-female Ghostbusters. Did you know this? Greg? Right. Yeah. But anyway. when, when a woman's dressed sexy, right? Though the people like like girls and also boys feel I call them girls and boys. They feel defensive almost, though, right? Like, why would you need that extra thing when stand up is hard enough? Well, because you're 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 looking at it through the lens of a man and how he perceives it, rather than somebody going on stage and being themselves as much as they can be. And if part of themselves wants to feel sexy by looking sexy, then I think you're creatively stopping them by saying they shouldn't dress that way. So you've been doing That's this a really good point. four months. You have an incredible stage presence. You already have jokes. How much material did you say that you've compiled in four months? How much material that you like? Like how long of a set do you think you could do? Like I've done like seven, ten minute sets. I go up probably about ten times a week. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, okay. And I write during the day. What part of LA do you live in? Like Beverly Hills, but not the rich part, like the below San Juan. Oh yeah, below the, San Juan. Like, like what? What are your cross streets? The rundown. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong, everybody? Way, what did I do? By the way, how <laughs> funny is it that like <laughs> she's been doing it four months? She goes up ten times a week. You know how many fucking overweight chick comics go up like once a month? Yeah. <laughs> no offense, but people like to have you on their stage. Yeah. I mean, I do open mics. Like, but, I go to like Marty's and like. Right. But ten the times a week is a lot. I mean, not really. You're doing two shows five days a week. <laughs> but, um, no, my point is it's hard to get on the stage. It's right, hard to I get asked. You had a great yeah, set I tonight. <laughs> I think Bobby, are you going to give her anything or what? Yeah, I got something. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got something. Um, fortune cookie. 
Uh, here's a 20. Here's a 20. That's all I have. Going with cash. Take the fucking 20. Take, Take the money. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's crazy. Uh, there she goes. Great job, Vanessa. Nice to meet you. Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa B. Johnson. Vanessa B. Johnson. Bobby Lee has run out of money uh, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. in his pocket. <laughs> Um, so we're going to move to our final part of the show where Ooh. every week we have one regular right now. One regular. We had two regulars, and then we were told people under 21 aren't allowed to go up anymore, so we had to lose a regular. That's the great Allie Makovsky. Rest in peace. We killed her after we found yeah, out. She's uh, dead. She's literally she dead. She no longer perform the show. We just said, fuck it. If you're not going to be on the show, let's just end your life completely. Yeah. Uh, but we do have our one regular who's been writing and performing a new minute every single week. Has a lot of buzz right now. Where It's always fun to watch her grow. She was deathly nervous her first few times on the show. We're getting to watch somebody really defeat stage fright. And it's very exciting. And here she is. She writes a brand new minute and performs it every single week. Put your hands together for Melissa Esslinger. I don't like people that get, I don't trust people that have plastic surgery because like obviously they can't keep it real. Uh, I recently found out I'm an asshole because I met my Mexican neighbor and when he said his name was Jose, my voice in my head said, of course. <laughs> I was wondering the other day if when redheads go to the bathroom if they pee or just make ginger ale. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.